okay, you're going to prove to you that socialism and communism are anti-God. Because in socialism and communism, the state is who provides, the state controls the production, and they're the, they're the providers. But the Bible teaches that God is a provider. Okay? Proverbs chapter 10, verse 3. The Lord will not suffer the soul of the righteous to famish, but he casteth away the substance of the wicked. And we're going to see this theme over and over again. It's God who's, who is providing. God is who is giving the righteous their food, you know, feeding the righteous, not the state. Psalms 34, verse 10. Psalms 34, verse 10. The young lions do lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. Psalms 84, verse 11. For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. Psalms 107, verses 8 to 9. Psalms 107, verses 8 to 9. Oh, that man would praise... Sorry, oh, that man will praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men, for he satisfieth the longing soul and filleth the hungry soul with goodness. And Philippians 4.19. Good verse to kind of close all this off. Philippians 4.19. Oops, hit number one. It says, But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches, in glory by Christ Jesus. So who is providing? Is it God or is it the state? Um, God is who provides. You see this theme of when they're walking in righteousness, when they're living according to scripture, when they're living holy, God is who provides. Because when you're living holy, when you're living to God's standard, when you're basically obeying God, he'll provide for you. He'll give you your needs. So it's not the state who provides. They see that socialism is antichrist, communism is antichrist, because it replaces God with the state. It makes state the, the state the provider, not God. It's basically turning the state into God. That's why I say that socialism is anti-God, and it is antichrist in its nature, because the antichrist will be an imitator of Jesus Christ. Well, socialism makes the state as if it's God. So socialism and communism is antichrist, and it is directly contrary to what the Word of God teaches. So don't be deceived by socialism. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.